Hello. Welcome to July 14th. A day where we realize what's going on in the world. Nah, I just woke up and I'm, I'm tired. I've got a sandwich here. I woke up, I was hungry for that. I've got some baked Doritos, so hungry for those. Gallon jug over there. Equally as good. And I've got a red box. Right here, hello. Can you see what it is in there? I can kind of make it up. Uh, w M A S N I A H C. Oh, that's backwards. Oh, it's upside down. That's what it is. Oh, okay. Yeah, Texas Chainsaw Massacre 3D. Should they even say 3D on there? I don't think so. That's what it's kind of shot as, though. Is Chainsaw Massacre 3D. Which, to me, I don't like seeing that in titles, no. And this movie does some pretty cool effects, though, for 3D. Like, I, I didn't watch it in 3D, but I could see how it would be pretty cool. Um, But it's sort of a reboot, I guess. What the fuck? Yeah, it's sort of a reboot, but at the same time, sort of not. It's um, a sequel to the first movie, I believe. But it basically bypasses all, I think, five movies in between them. So, I guess this is like the canon storyline now or something. Or, I don't know. I personally thought the 2006 movie was really good, but... Eh, they're going to skip over that one. Um, but basically, yeah, the movie picks up right after the first movie when uh, the last survivor of their the group or whatever barely manages to escape from Leatherface. She jumps into the back of a truck and tries to get the fuck out of town. Um, this picks up, like, right there. This is when the police come in. Um, you know, they get the reports that something's going on over there. They show up at the house. Um, basically, a mob... A mob yeah, a mob shows up, and they, they're they really pissed at these guys. They're like, you fucking people, t killing people, and, you know, just fucking around. You're not, like... You need to get out of our town there, buddy. They fucking... They basically, uh... They torch their house down. They get into a gunfight. Big shootout. Kill every one of the members of the, uh... The Sawyer family. Um, Leatherface's bloodline is called Sawyer's. The... The Sawyer's, you know. So. We basically get to see the, the Sawyer house massacre there. Which is really cool. And... Right from the beginning, they're starting to build up these rednecky... Texas police people that are just kind of like dicks. Um, you know, the the police chief is pretty reasonable for the most part, but we can see something's going on with these redneck guys. Something's wrong with them. But at the same time, we're thankful because he just wiped out a whole family of murderers and fucked up people. Um, so then the movie jumps like 20 years into the future. Uh, basically, oh, I forgot, I should probably mention this. A baby, one of the Sawyer babies was, uh, survived the fire, um, one of the police officers found, uh, the wounded mother and her baby, so he kills the mother, takes the baby, decides to raise it as his own, because his wife can't have babies, and, um, that's basically how the main character's introduced, uh, Heather, I believe her name was, um, so, 20 years in the future, her and her typical group of friends, they're, uh, they're getting ready to go on a vacation, you know, gotta have a party. She gets papers from her deceased grandma she's never met, which is a, uh, a Cooper, which are like, Coopers and Sawyers are like, hand in hand, they're like, partners basically, I guess. And she, or she was a Sawyer, but then she married into the Cooper family, I think. Something like that, I don't know. Um, but basically, she gets papers from the government saying she has to go to Texas to like, fill out her, uh, her will form, or whatever. And once she gets there, shit gets good. Uh, we're introduced to a mansion. We're introduced to the people of Newt. Newt, Texas. Fucking do your booty, yo. You got their tractor, that's your nice tractor there, okay? Um. Yeah. Um. I don't know. It, it, it becomes your basic, uh, I guess, teenager slasher for a while there. Most of the, you know, it's a group of teenagers traveling into a, a uh, what seems to be abandoned area for the most part. Um, and I love it. I love it. I, the introduction of, um, the bad guy here was really good. I don't want to spoil it. I don't like spoiling movies, but there is a, there is a guy who will go on a massacre. There is, um, people that will die. 
there's a cool plot twist to who the bad guy really is. Um, my favorite part of the movie... Huh. Favorite part of the movie... Um, I really liked when the leather. Oh, I just spoiled that. I really liked when Leatherface was um, chasing the main character, like out of the mansion, and that whole like chasing. Um, I guess it's not really considered one scene. It's probably like two scenes, but I I, I like that whole part of the movie when she's being chased out of the mansion and and into a carnival. Um, there's this part where the police officer sees him. He's like, "Sir, drop the chainsaw," and he's like. No. He just <laughs> he whips the chainsaw at the guy. He just like throws it at him, but it like flies at the screen in like really cheesy looking 3D, and uh, it was just I like it made me laugh really hard. But it was a good movie. I liked it a lot. Um, can I just say that the main actress is very pretty? She's very pretty, and uh, I feel like I've seen her before. She looks a lot like the um. Oh god, what's her name? She's in Saved by the Bell. She was in Fast Lane. She has one of those crazy names. Her last name is like The Essen. The, the Lesson. What the fuck is that? I can't remember. She's very pretty. Um, and then, is the best, the female best friend, is she Alex from Lost? Uh, ben Linus's daughter? It looked a lot like her, but she was, uh, she's got boobs now. So I was confused, and it confused me. Uh, I don't know. Anyways, though, I give the movie a good solid 2. 2 out of 3. I think that's a good number. It's just, a, I don't know. It was a good movie. I don't even know why I was hearing bad things about it, to be honest. I didn't see a single like major flaw with it. Alright, I'm gonna go boop, boop.